If you've been around Discord recently, you've probably seen memes that look something like this. Sus. Sus. Amogus. So that was one of them I made. Uh, there are many other memes like this. Some just uh, shake randomly and some have a bit more thought uh, put into them. But I thought that today I would uh, show you how to make these uh, without even having to download any programs. So I made this website where you can create your own videos like this and it can create the simple ones that just shake around uh, or more complicated ones where you actually have more control over what happens. And I'm going to show you all of these uh, types of uh, webms you can create. So in this folder here, I have a few memes. Uh, let's start off with this Half-Life remix. So just a video with a pretty catchy beat would be really funny to have it jumping around in Discord. So what you do is you select the bounce mode uh, and then you select your settings. So uh, we only want it to bounce vertically and there are two types of bounce right now. Uh, so you can experiment them and see what you like. You can change the speed. Um, and uh, then you just put the file here and click go. And there's this CRF option here as well, which lets you change the quality. Um, if the file size is too big, I recommend increasing it. Uh, but otherwise, the default value should be fine. So what you do now is you just click go and then it starts processing. And this processing is actually going to take a bit of time. So go grab a cup of tea or something and um, come back. And there we go, it's uh, ready. So you can just open it up in your web browser to see it. Okay, that looks good. Uh, let's also try it out in Discord. So as you can see, it works great and it's very funny. It's uh, sure to make your friends laugh out loud. Um, so let's go to the next option, the random one. Uh, so for the random one, I have this meme video. I think that one would be very funny if it uh, just randomly shook around. And for the random one here, you can uh, choose whether you want it to only shake one way or both ways. Uh, and since the bounce was one way, let's go for both ways for this one. So. Uh, everything looks good, let's hit go and uh, let's grab another cup of coffee. And as you can see, uh, this one is done as well. So uh, let's uh, check it out in Discord. So as you can see, uh, very funny, uh, but uh, it's pretty simple. So now let's get, get onto the last option, which is train. And this is what you want to use if you want to create something more advanced, like the Amogus one I made earlier. So actually, I thought this would be a perfect example where we could recreate our own Amogus uh, resizing comic meme. Uh, so you can see how it's done. So how you want to do this is uh, you want to make sure the entire background is a single color. So it doesn't matter what color you pick, you just need to pick one that's... Yeah, just I just picked red, for example. And now uh, you want to make sure there's a border all around the image. So since I picked red, I must make sure there is always a red border around the image. And now uh, if you resize this, it will just resize the webm itself. So let's try to recreate the meme I made earlier. So here I made this uh, simple animation where you can see it just goes like that, then like that, and then like that. And then what controls the cropping is the fact that the red border just uh, covers up the other parts. So this is all you need. 
Uh, and a couple more things to mention. Uh, one, uh, I recommend using a lower frame rate if you are uh, animating it intentionally. So for example, this one, I used uh, 20 frames per second. Because if you go for a higher frame rate, it might start uh, lagging a bit and then the resizing goes out of sync with the video itself and it just won't look as good. And secondly, uh, if you plan on posting this on Discord specifically, uh, you want to make sure the first frame is the same size uh, as the biggest frame. So let's see, the biggest one for us would be this frame. So we want our first frame to be about the same size. So I'll just uh, make it a bit bigger. So it's about the same size as the biggest scene we have. And you only need to do this to, for the first frame uh, and then the rest of it is fine. And now that you're done with it, you want to go to the render queue uh, and make sure you pick the lossless option, the AVI. And if you are using transparency for the border, uh, you can enable it here. But if you just use a solid color, like I use red, then you don't have to do it. And that's it. Uh, of course, you don't have to use After Effects for this. You can use any program. Uh, you just have to make sure that your program supports uh, rendering uncompressed AVIs. You can also try with other non-uncompressed formats, but if it creates too many artifacts, it's uh, not going to work very well. So I just uh, recommend rendering as uncompressed AVI if possible. So now back on the site, you just pick the trim mode and uh, we can put our AVI here. And the good thing about this is that uh, this website uh, processes everything uh, on your computer. So you don't have to upload this AVI file if it's like big or something. Uh, it's all done on your computer. And there we go. Uh, let's see if this works the way we want it to. So yeah, this looks exactly like the one we animated. Um, and yeah, that's how you can create completely custom ones uh, with uh, whatever animations you want. Uh, but that's it. The link to this website will be in the description. Uh, I hope you have fun creating these uh, and go, go make some cool ones, I guess.